Hello everyone, my name is Oscar. I'm the teacher of information and communication technology in senior four classes. The first unit of our content is computer maintenance. In the computer maintenance, we have hardware and we are going to discuss the various methods that we can use in order to protect computer hardware from physical damage. So we are going to see computer maintenance principles which are needed to take care of computer hardware. But before we start, let us define what computer maintenance is. So a computer maintenance refers to a set of actions or a set of processes which aim to ensure to ensure the proper functioning of computer equipment. This means that we have some different methods that we can use in order to take the computer hardware so that they stay in good conditions. And what is a principle? A principle is a kind of rule, belief, or idea that guides you. It means that the principles are the rules to be followed in order to take care of our computer equipment so that they stay in good conditions. Hardware maintenance involves taking care of computer physical equipment like keyboard, monitor, mouse, and so on. Whenever software maintenance is the process of upgrading, is the process of modifying a software product after it has been delivered to the customer. So you see that hardware maintenance, here we have to take care of the physical components of computer so that they remain in good condition and Operate, in, operate without causing errors or faults. Whenever the software maintenance, we are going to modify the software after installing it inside our computer. This means that we can troubleshoot the software to identify some errors or just we can uninstall the software in order to replace it with a new version. So re let's start by hardware maintenance principles. So the computer components must be cleaned from the duster. This is because the computer components are the most efficient duster collectors. It means that every physical materi material will collect duster. This duster uh, should block the filters or just the air conditioners or fans inside the computers which should be the cause of overheating. It means that when the computer is operating, the computer component, specifically those which are inside the computer case, case consume a lot of electricity. So they should overheat or just they should be, that should be the cause of increasing heat inside the computer component. So that is the reason why I am advising you to cover your, 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 your to, 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 to cover your computers by using proper, uh, proper crops. So the second one, clean up the covering and everything else. So remember that for example, when we are using desktop computers, its peripheral components are connected through the ports. And remember that the cables, the cables are sometimes lying on the floor. So 
we have to clean the cables and every component of computer in order to remove the dust from them. So cables should collect the dust because they are sometimes lying on the floor. That is the reason why we have to remove the dust from them regularly. Organize the installation disks. You see that when, you ha when we want to install a computer software, we must have installation disk. This means that it's a storage media which contains the setup to be installed so that the software should be opened and executed by the CPU. So most of the time we use the CDs or DVDs or just optical software, but we have to take care of them specifically by separating CDs or DVDs among with other external memories and also <coughs> we can use a marker to mention the type of software which is installed on each CD or a DVD. So installation software can be an operating system or another type of software like an application software or utility software. So we have different types of software such as operating systems, many types of operating systems application software and also utility software. So once we have many CDs containing different uh, computer software, we have to arrange them, we have to separate them from other uh, computer memories. We continue with computer maintenance principles as you see on this screen. And also we are still talking about computer hardware maintenance principles. So the next principle here is properly interconnect the components. You see that Inside the computer case, we have many computer components like run, random access memories, like expansion cards, which where everyone has its expansion slot, and also the CPU, which has its corresponding CPU socket. We have also different types of ports, and some ports are female, others are males. So when we are going to interconnect the computer components, we have, we, have, we have to avoid interconnecting a computer component by using physical force or just a mechanical force because this should be the cause of destroying the whole device. So electronic device components are designed to fit into one another without using mechanical force. For example, for the ports and the, connector, and the connectors, if the female, female port is going to accommodate the, 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 the a male port, you must connect them without using mechanical force. If there is a tendency of using mechanical force, make sure that you have well interconnected the computer components. Now let us see some computer maintenance principles for the software. Remembering that software means intangible parts of computer, but technically this refers to the set of instructions which are executed by the computer processor in order to perform the specific task. So, and remember also that we have an operating system which is a software able to control other software. So properly switch on and off the computer. So to switch on the computer is different from switching off the computer. 
So each time we want to switch on a computer, you have to press on switching on button and wait the operating system to load into the memory. That is what we call booting. But when we want to shut down the computer or switch off the computer, we have first of all to close or open the programs. So the computer is working, it means that they are some open the programs. Try to close them by clicking on on cross button of each window. So after that, you have to click on start menu and then choose shut it down. Never and never switch off the computer by pressing on the switch on button. And also, each time we want to switch off the computer and you see that some programs fail to close, you have to open with what we call the task manager where all processes or, or running programs are visible and end up those processes. So to open the task manager, you have to use the following shortcut combination. You press on control button together with alt and delete keys on your keyboard immediately the task manager will be opened and you choose the process that you want it to to cross and end up that process another computer maintenance principle is the way of deleting and use the files and the programs. So the computer is used to keep files for a long time and the programs. But it is not a good habit to, to continue keeping or storing and use the files. Each time that you have the files that you don't use, you should delete them. And also, you can also uninstall the programs that, 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 that you don't use. So this means that delete temporary files, audio and videos as they occupy the bigger space. So we have the computers, uh, the computers have a device which is used to store information for a longer time. And this device is called the hard disk. So in order to, to in order to gain a space on a hard disk, we should delete and use the files on our hard disk. Backup of the data. So each time we have information which is stored inside our computer, we have to be careful. We have to think that sometimes data should be lost for example if someone uses your computer and they delete data accidentally you should lose your data that is the reason why you have to make the backup of your data backup means to take the copy of original data and save it on external storage device so that you can use it once your data has been lost. So a data backup is the result of copying or, or archiving files and folders for the purpose of being able to restore them in the case of data loss. So you can run an antivirus and scan it regularly. So what is an antivirus? In computer science, an antivirus is a software which is used to fight against the computer viruses. So antivirus, when it is installed inside the computer and when it is updated, each time that you connect external storage device on your computer, it has to scan. It has to pass it through all the files and identify some computer viruses. So antivirus will remove or disable computer viruses within a computer system. 
You should also clean up the operating system by using disk cleanup. Disk cleanup is a maintenance utility used for free up space on hard disk by deleting unnecessary files and Windows component that are no longer in use. This includes temporary internet files, the unloaded program files, and the files in the recycle bin. Clean up the software. So every few months, look at, through the add or remove programs. So you should the, open the control panel and go on this link, add or remove programs, and verify if there are some software that are no longer in use or needed and delete them. Update everything. Check for updates for the hardware and the software. If there are some updates, you can install them. So, updates should be Windows updates, checking for updated drivers, and checking for software patches. Defragmentation. So, defragmentation is the process of moving files to contiguous clusters to optimize the storage space and performance. As I have told you, a computer has the hard disk, which is the main storage of information and everything which is stored into your computer for a long time. So, defragmentation means to put it together or separate the files in order to optimize the storage space and performance or just in order to gain more space on your storage device so thank you for watching my video this is the end of my presentation but don't forget to subscribe like share and comment in order to get more new videos and also in order to support my youtube channel Thank you very much.